Hello, in this video we're going to look at international trade. This time we're going to have a tariff and a domestic monopoly. The competitive world price for good X is $10. In the domestic economy, a monopolist produces good X and faces the following market demand. Q equals 50 minus 0.5P, where P is the price. The monopolist marginal cost is given by the following equation. How many units of good X are imported? How many units of output does a monopolist sell? And we want to calculate the consumer surplus, producer surplus, and total surplus. In this case, the monopoly is going to be a price taker at the world price of $10. We're going to set the world price equal to the monopolist marginal cost. $10 equals 0.5Q. Solving for Q, the monopolist will produce and sell 20 units. The total number of units purchased by domestic consumers, we're going to take the world price and we're going to plug it back into our demand equation that we started this with, and we get 45. So consumers in this domestic market will buy 45 units. To calculate the number of imports, we're going to take the domestic consumption, which is 45 units, and subtract from it the monopoly output, and we get 25 imports. Okay, let's look at this graphically. The world price is $10, which is this horizontal line here at the bottom. This horizontal line at the bottom. We're going to ignore the horizontal line just above the world price. Here is the monopolist demand equation, or if we solve for P, the inverse demand. So the vertical intercept is 100, and the horizontal intercept is 50 for the monopolist demand. The marginal cost is 0.5Q, which is going to be this line from the origin here, marginal cost curve. The total output is 45, so where the world price, $10, this bottom horizontal line intersects the demand, that's going to be at 45 units right here. The monopoly output is 20, so where this horizontal line here, the world price intersects the marginal cost, that's how many units a monopolist brings to the market, 20. So the difference between 20 and 45 right here is the number of imports. In terms of consumer surplus and producer surplus, consumer surplus is going to be this giant triangle between the height of the demand curve and the world price all the way up to the 45th unit right here. So one half base times height, we get consumer surplus of 2,025. As for producer surplus, producer surplus is going to be this bottom triangle between the world price of $10 and uh, the marginal cost curve up to the 20th unit that the, mar that the monopoly brings to the market. And so we get producer surplus of $100, giving us total surplus of $2,125. Okay, now let's look at the effect of a tariff. Suppose a $4 tariff is placed on the imported good. How many units of good X are imported into the domestic economy? How many units does a monopolist sell? And once again, let's find consumer surplus and producer surplus. The price of good X will now equal the world pl price plus the tariff, or $14. In terms of the monopoly output, we're going to set the $14 equal to the monopolist marginal cost. Solving for Q. The monopolist produces a few more units here. Uh, in this case, the monopolist produces 28 units. In terms of the total consumption by domestic consumers, we plug that $14 back into the demand equation, and domestic consumers will buy 43 units, 28 of which are coming from the domestic monopoly. So the number of imports here is 43 minus 28, or 15. Let's look at this graphically. So in this case here, uh, we're going to be concerned about the world price plus the tariff for $14. So this uh, horizontal line here, the top one, so where this horizontal line here, the world price plus the tariff intersects the demand, that's going to be at 43 units of output. To get the monopoly output, we took the world price plus the tariff, walked it over to the marginal cost curve came down and we found that was 28 units. So the imports are just a difference, 43 minus 28. 
In terms of consumer surplus, it's going to be the difference between the height of the demand curve and $14, all the way up to that last unit consumed, the 43rd unit. And we get the following value for consumer surplus. As for producer surplus, it's going to be another triangle, the difference between $14 and the marginal cost, all the way up to the 28th unit. And we get $196. In terms of government revenue, uh, it's going to be the tariff times the number of imports. So 4 times 15 is government revenue. Now to get total surplus, we're going to add up all three values, and we get 2,105, which is a little bit lower than our example without the tariff. Okay, I'll stop here.